Yesterday, we have discussed about insert and update, right? <coughs> so, uh, yes, why, no, why we are using insert to create new records? We are going for insert to make some modifications in the records. We are going to use, we are going to use update. But we have another concept called absurd, right? Today we are going to discuss about absurd. Okay, update okay. plus insert is equal to absurd. So we can, by looking at the statement, we can update and we can insert new, we can insert the records in one go. Within a single button, we can do both the operations. Okay. <clears throat> so yes. why are we going for up upset? So when we have limited time and in one shot, if we want to up insert and update the records, then we we'll use this upset option to pull the data from other platform to Salesforce and comparison. Also, we can do this. Okay, now, okay, yesterday we discussed, right? What is required for updating the record? ID of that specific record. Yeah. Okay, now similarly in absurd, we will, okay, let's open the file yesterday's file. Okay. So this is yesterday's update, right? Yes. Okay. Now let's use the same template and do this upset operation. Now, first, we'll see whether this record exists in the Salesforce. If this record exists, so we can update this one right so we what we are using what we are taking the reference the id we are taking okay now i took the id now i want to modify the name upsert pen okay quantity and all it's okay uh, price we can change it or it's okay keep it as it is Now, the other one, so now what I am doing for these two records. I am not giving ID because I want to insert these two records into the object, Parker Pen object. That's why I am not giving the ID. So data loader considers this as insert uh, that, the, the, that we have to insert these two records into the Salesforce and we have to update the first one into the, we have to update the first record in Salesforce. Got it? How we have to prepare the absurd uh, data? Yeah. 
yes, if it is uh, for insert operation we need to provide the id if not is, uh, we need to for update that, uh, if we are going for update yes. then we have to give id if we are going for insert then we don't have to give any id yes let's save this save this file let's open data loader now what button i have to click upset right upset. yes it's already there let me close this it is open yesterday not sure whether it will work or not Okay, now I'm selecting worker pen. Now we have to choose the file. This is the file, right? Now click on next button. How many records were there in the file? There were three records. Oh, it is three. Eight. There are three records. Now select the field for matching on Parker pen. What we have to select? We have to we have to match with the ID, right? ID is the main thing, no? For updating the record. Mm. Yes. And click on next. Now what we have to do? We can create Choose a the map. existing one and R we can create a new one. Let's create a new one, auto match. So all are matched automatically. Click on OK button. Click on next. So where is the result? <coughs> result folder also we have it. So now it's okay. Just click on finish. Now it is showing some warning. What what is the warning? We have chosen to add new records or updating existing records the action you are about to take cannot be undone are you sure you want to proceed yes right yes the soft warning it is showing Let's click yes on. okay the operation is completed three successful records okay let's go to data loader output success See, for the first one, what it is showing? Status? Updated, item updated. Hmm. For two, item created. Correct. <clears throat> and automatically record ID is allotted to these two. Because now let's look at, now this, okay, one second. This, was, this is already open. We have modified this record name to Upset pen. Let's click on refresh. See, it got changed, right? And the price also we have updated. Yes. Okay. So similarly, we can check whether this new record is created or not. Okay, new record is created, insert pen 2. Okay, clear? Yes, Navin. And yesterday we also discussed about how to, how to identify the error, how to see the error files by looking at that we can correct the data and uh, we can modify the data and uh, we have to re-upload the correct file, right? Yesterday. Correct, correct. You're clear about that concept also, right? 
yes so when you upload when you update when you perform any action in salesforce it will give you two types of files one is error file one is success file why what is the use of error file it will help us to identify where the error is present like this it will give you the clear information right yesterday we have seen this so this means any data mismatch or data type mismatch or like that it will give give you or if you are missing any mandatory fields those kind of information it will give so we can rectify this and we can re-upload it re-upload the uh, file okay you're clear yes, right okay now what is next okay. there is one question if there are 10 records in a file and i made an upset operation how salesforce will realize for which records it is supposed to insert and for which records to update can you tell this answer if an id is populated for a specific record then it is uh, update mm. if no id is available then that is an insert yes correct where there is a record id then salesforce will realize that it is it this is to be updated if there is no record id then it will insert the record clear correct answer no delete okay <clears throat> now we have uploaded we have looked at insert update upset what all option we have delete only one option is left in the data loader the last topic are you clear with other topics insert update upset export and export all yes yes now let's look into delete now okay uh, so, okay what what is the or what are the columns that you would require for deleting a specific record can you anyone tell me ID. Okay. Anything else? Like modified date or created date? You want to delete the API name of the API name. I mean, object specific object is required first. Which okay. object? Okay. Under let's, which object? Let's not let, forget about object. What is the fields? or what are the fields that are required to perform delete operations how many fields would you require id only id field only id yeah, yeah. that is enough correct so id is the main thing right if we delete that entire thing will be deleted entire details present in the record will be deleted so when you are performing <clears throat> when you are performing a delete operation what all fields you need only id okay okay now let's look at some ids okay let's take this id now i have to now i am trying to delete two records okay 
I just this is the only column that I need so that system Salesforce or data loader will identify that we have to delete this records which is having this ID. Okay. Now let's see how it works with in data loader. Delete. That's our object. Hello, pick your data. 